30 years ago, the first Ariane rocket was launched from the Centre Spatial Guyane, or the European spaceport at Kourou in French Guyana. Since then, there have been nearly 200 launches of different versions of Ariane with a 97% success rate. This has secured independent access to space for Europe, and at the same time, Europe has become a leader in the world market for commercial launches. To further increase these two objectives, ESA member states decided to increase Europe's capacity to put satellites into orbit. To do this, it must expand its portfolio of launchers to be able to launch any kind of satellite on any type of orbit. Presently, Ariane 5 is Europe's workhorse to send large satellites into space, in particular telecommunications satellites on geostationary orbit and it's designed for a rate of 10 missions per year. This year, it will be joined by Russian-built Soyuz launchers, which can put medium-sized payloads into space. Built in the city of Samara, the Soyuz has been launched over 17,000 times from Baikonur in Kazakhstan. It's the historic rocket that launched the Sputnik satellite in 1957 and was also used for Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. Launching from Kourou will greatly increase its capability. Shipped from St. Petersburg, the first two Soyuz units are already in Guyana. Launching Soyuz from the European spaceport has necessitated the building of a new launch pad. And with different conditions due to equatorial weather, a different technical approach, and also French regulations, the Soyuz launch system has had to be adapted. We'll have a mobile gantry which doesn't exist in Baikonur. This will integrate this high part, ensuring access to the launcher. The European spaceport will also soon welcome another new member of the family, the Vega launcher, which will target the growing market for smaller satellites. Fabricated in Italy at Colifero near Rome, Vega's three stages make extensive use of carbon composites, making Vega one of the lightest launchers ever. In Kourou, the finishing touches are being made to Vega's launch pad. It will launch up to 1.5 ton satellites, uh, scientific satellites, uh, public satellites into sun-synchronous and low Earth orbits. We want to have a complete family of launches. With Vega and Soyuz complementing Ariane 5, the Space Center, run by Kness, the French space agency and Ariane Space, responsible for operating and marketing launches, will be able to offer its customers a full spread of capability. This will reinforce the role of the European spaceport on the satellite launching scene, but there's potentially another dimension. With Soyuz at uh, CSG, we have the possibility, one point in time, whenever member states have decided to do so, to make an upgrade to a manned space capability. With the end of the American Space Shuttle missions, only Soyuz from Baikonur will enable the crews of the International Space Station to be changed. In future, there will be an option to accommodate such Soyuz missions from Guyana. And Ariane 5 has already been supporting the ISS since ESA launched ATV, the Automated Transfer Vehicle, in 2009. This unmanned cargo vessel is scheduled to deliver equipment and food every year and then bring waste back from the space station when it returns and disintegrates in the atmosphere. But major new development could be envisaged. An upgrade possibility could be that we have a uh, return vehicle which uh, can bring back samples from the International Space Station safely down to Earth, a little bit like the Apollo capsule, but first unmanned. Another possibility would then be a new upgrade to have a manned capacity, so to launch astronauts with it and bring safely astronauts back to Earth. Manned missions using Ariane 5 are possible, but the decision belongs with Europe's politicians and anyway, launchers are always evolving with upgrades or new versions.
That doesn't mean we can't start thinking about Ariane 6, so that in 20 years, well, we have Ariane 6. So in the not-too-distant future, Ariane 5, Soyuz and Vega will operate side by side from the European spaceport in French Guyana. Ariane Space is targeting a flight activity level of approximately 10 missions annually, consisting of an average of seven Ariane 5 flights, two Soyuz missions and a Vega launch. It will be set for any type of launch and will have become the world's largest commercially dedicated launch site, CSG in full flight.